that dark side is experienced by people in different parts of the world. One of those areas is in the country of Iraq. Today we also have with us on our program Juliana Tamarazzi with the Iraqi Christian Relief Council. And Juliana, you're going to update us as you do from time to time on our program of what's happening with Christians in Iraq, especially during this time of year when we wish that everyone would be enjoying the peace of Christ. It is not always the case. Yes, Father Tom, thank you so much for having me on once again and uh, wanted to appreciate everything that you have done for our organization as you have been truly uh, a backbone to this organization. Uh, First and foremost, I wanted to say thank you to all of your listeners who have been supporting us since 2008. Truly, it uh, has made it, you guys have made it so much easier for us to send aid to the Assyrians, Chaldeans, and Syriacs of Iraq, the indigenous people of Iraq who are on the verge of extinction today. And now again, your organization, the website for that organization. The website of the organization is IraqiChristianRelief.org. That is the website, IraqiChristianRelief.org. If your listeners would like to donate, there is a donate button. They can send us through PayPal. That's something new that we have added to the account. And we, in turn, support where the Iraqi Christians with three important things, food, shelter, medicine. About 40 to $50 dollars buys a food parcel that supports four people per family for two weeks. And a food parcel is consisted of flour, rice, oil, eggs, basic, basic necessities. The Christians of Iraq are in dire, dire need, and they really don't understand this is Christmas, and uh, that they, you know, they cannot afford buying gifts for their children. However, however difficult their lives are, they have not forsaken their faith. They have been persecuted for their faith since 2003, but they have remained steadfast holding the cross dear to their heart. Juliana, tell us about some of the recent uh, tragedies. Uh, this might move people's hearts to help step, you know, help them step up and donate and help out these people, especially during this Christmas time. Recently, there were a couple of events that are tragic. Sure, and most unfortunately, on November 26th, they leveled St. Ephraim's Church, and as well as they damaged the, um, the Dominican Sisters convent pretty badly. Thank God no one was killed, but they leveled the church. And uh, the refugees that are living in Syria and in Jordan and also here in Chicago, their situation is dire as well. Uh, I want your listeners to also pray for those refugees that are outside Iraq. For example, there's a woman whose three daughters were kidnapped and killed because they worked with Americans as translators. Her husband passed away of a heartbreak, and she only has one daughter left who is clinically depressed. They're living here in Chicago. They also need... Yeah, they are in need of financial assistance. But uh, there's good news. One small piece of good news I can give you is uh, in the elections that are coming up in February or March of 2000, there is opportunity for five providential or provincial representatives that are Christians to be elected. So that's a piece of good news that I uh, have for your listeners. Well, that's excellent, yes. <laughs> we need the good news. You do. Because the coming of Christ, the whole message of the season, is about good news through it all. It's about the light coming into the darkness. And as always, we thank you for enlightening us, Juliana, because there is, in a sense, a sort of a darkness in our country about what's really happening there, about the plight of Christians in Iraq. And that's why we're fortunate to have someone like you to keep us informed and to move our hearts and to pray for them, to try to, try to donate, to help them out the best we can, especially at this time of year. It's ironic that the place, the area, the land where Christ was incarnate, where God came into this world, and this reality is the one that has so much hardship and strife. So we do remember them, and we wish you and all your friends there at the Iraqi Christian Relief Organization a blessed Christmas and most blessed New Year. Thanks so much for joining us, and we hope to have you on again. Likewise, Father Tom, God bless you, God bless your listeners, and thanks again for everything. Our website is IraqiChristianRelief.org And from all of us here at Light of the East, we wish you a most blessed Christmas season, a most blessed New Year. Thank you for listening. I'm Father Thomas Loya on Light of the East.